Turkey's Khan fifth-generation fighter jet project has garnered substantial interest from two large Gulf countries. Saudi Arabia has been studying the acquisition of at least 100 Khan fighter jets, and representatives from both countries have met to discuss defense initiatives, including Khan. During high-level discussions at the IDEX 2025 defense exhibition in Abu Dhabi, the United Arab Emirates has also expressed interest in participating in the initiative. The Kane is a future alternative for the acquisition of a fifth-generation fighter jet, as the UAE abandoned negotiations to purchase the F-35. The UAE is also interested in collaborating on other Turkish defense initiatives, including the ATAC-1 helicopter and Anka-3 combat drone. In general, the interest from Gulf countries such as the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia underscores a strategic shift toward the acquisition of advanced military technology and the diversification of defense partnerships. Turkey's Khan Initiative provides a promising alternative to traditional suppliers such as the United States. Let us examine the aircraft's status and most recent accomplishments in light of the Gulf country's interest in this fifth-generation fighter project. The first flight of Khan took place in May 2024, and the maker, Turkish Aerospace Industries, has committed to supplying the Turkish Air Force with 20 units by 2028. The company's goal is to speed up production and eventually build several hundred Khan aircraft. Many experts contend that the aircraft has evolved into a multi-role aircraft that is capable of conducting assault missions, despite its initial design for air superiority. Turkish engineers even assert that the Khan will surpass the American F-35. Key arguments supporting this claim include a higher payload capacity of 10 tons instead of 8 of the F-35 and twin engines, which should provide sufficient power for more advanced onboard systems and radar. Turkish aerospace is placing a high priority on completing all aspects of domestic production, which includes the completion of engines by 2029. Currently, the Turkish company Aselsan has developed an active electronically scanned array radar that is already installed on Khan. The Khan fighter jet is distinguished from other fifth-generation aircraft by several distinctive features, as indicated by Turkish literature. It is reported that the radar-absorbing materials used in the aircraft are up to 10 times more effective than those used in the F-35, and it features advanced stealth capabilities. Furthermore, the Khan is engineered to achieve an exceptional level of maneuverability and speed, with a projected maximum speed of Mach 1.8 to 2.2, which exceeds the F-35's top speed of Mach 1.6. This results in a high degree of agility and responsiveness in air-to-air -air combat scenarios. According to Turkish sources, Khan is also equipped with sophisticated AI-assisted avionics and sensor fusion capabilities, which enable it to operate efficiently in intricate combat scenarios and collaborate with devoted wingman drones. It is intended to serve as a multi-role fighter that is capable of conducting air superiority, air-to-ground missions, and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance operations, thereby providing a high degree of adaptability for modern warfare. Additionally, Turkey's objective of using domestically manufactured engines in serial production enhances self-sufficiency and reduces dependence on foreign components. The Khan includes advanced data link capabilities such as the Kement Tactical Data Link, which enhances its operational effectiveness and facilitates network-enabled warfare. The Kayon fighter aircraft will likely be more expensive than the F-35. The CAN is anticipated to cost more than $100 million per unit, with some projections indicating that it could eventually reach a price of approximately $110 million, which is comparable to the Chinese J-20. In contrast, the cost of the F-35 is contingent upon the variant, with the F-35A priced at approximately $80 million, and the F-35B and C variants costing between $80 million and $115 million. The Khan's increased cost is partially attributable to its development stage and the fact that it has not yet been mass-produced, in contrast to the F-35, which capitalizes on economies of scale. The Khan is an appealing option for countries that are interested in sophisticated air superiority capabilities due to its superior maneuverability and speed, despite the cost difference.
Although Turkish Aerospace's claims on Khan are plausible and consistent with Turkey's stated objectives for the aircraft, certain details, particularly those related to stealth capabilities, cost, and performance, are either speculative or based on incomplete information. The Khan is currently under development, and its ultimate specifications and capabilities may differ from current projections. The second Khan prototype is anticipated to be finalized by the end of the year, and a third prototype is scheduled for 2026, according to the most recent reports. Now, do you think Khan is superior to F-35? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.